On the headlines today, a guilty verdict in a more than 25 year old murder case in California. The former classmate of Kristen Smart convicted of first degree murder after she went missing back in 1996. ABC's Rena Roy has the story. It was a murder case that gripped the nation, and now the family of Kristen Smart is one step closer to justice. We are grateful and appreciate the diligence and energy of the two juries to thoroughly review the facts and reach their decisions. Smart was the California college student who vanished in 1996. A jury found 45-year-old Paul Flores, a former classmate, guilty of her murder. Flores' father, who was tried at the same time as his son, found not guilty of helping to dispose her body. Smart, who was 19 years old at the time, was last seen on her way home from a Cal Poly party with Flores. Authorities say Flores killed Smart in his dorm room during an attempted rape. Prosecutors say Smart was highly intoxicated, potentially drugged. Flores was later questioned about her disappearance, but charges were not filed against him at the time. Authorities acknowledged missteps by detectives over the years and credited a podcast and its creator in helping crack the case. His podcast helped to identify additional new witnesses and the collection of important evidence that was critical in the prosecution of this case. In the trial, prosecutors presented evidence including soil samples that they said showed Smart's body might have been buried under the elder Flores' deck. Ruben Flores maintains he and his son had nothing to do with Smart's murder. I feel bad for him because I didn't get no answers about what happened. There is no evidence against anybody, me or Paul. Paul Flores is looking at a possible life sentence as Kristen Smart's family continues their quest for justice. Her body has still not been found. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.